Hello friends, today we will factorize this given expression which is x raised to the power 7 minus 1. So how can we factor out this given expression? If I have this equation which is a raised to the power 7 minus 1 is equal to 0, that means a is equal to 1 will satisfy this equation that means a minus 1 will be one of the factor of this equation and here will be the other factor. So, it means if here we have x raised to the power 7 minus 1. So, one of the factor of x raised to the power 7 minus 1 will be x minus 1. So, what will be the other factor? We have x raised to the power 7 minus 1 and I can write it as x raised to the power 7. I know that x minus 1 is one of the factors so I will arrange x raised to the power 7 minus 1 as we uh, got x minus 1 as common factor. If I will write here minus x raised to the power 6 so it will give us x minus 1 is one of the factor so if I will subtract x raised to the power 6 so I will also add x raised to the power 6 here. Similarly, now I will write here x raised to the power 5. So it will give us x minus 1 is a common factor. If I will minus x raised to the power 5, so I will also add x raised to the power 5 here. Similarly, minus x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 4. Similarly, minus x raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 3 minus x square plus x square minus x plus x and the last term will be minus 1. Now you can see that here if I will take x raised to the power 6 is common so it will be x minus 1 and from these two terms we have x raised to the power 5 is common and it will be x minus 1. From these two terms, we have x raised to the power 4 is common, so it will be x minus 1. Similarly, x raised to the power 3 is common, so it will give us x minus 1 is one of the factor. And from here, x square is common, x minus 1. From these two terms, we have x is common, and it will be x minus 1, and the last factor here we have 1 is common, it will be x minus 1. Now you can see that here we have x minus 1 is common in all terms. So the other factor is x raised to the power 6 plus x raised to the power 5 plus x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 3 plus x square plus x plus 1. Now if I want to talk about a formula for x raised to the power n minus 1, then it will be x minus 1 times x raised to the power n minus 1 plus x raised to the power n minus 2 plus x raised to the power n minus 3 plus up to so on x plus 1. And if we also have a raised to the power n minus b raised to the power n, then it will be a minus b is one of the factor. And the other was a raised to the power n minus 1 times b raised to the power 0, which is same as 1, plus a raised to the power n minus 2 times b raised to the power 1, plus up to so on. a square times b raised to the power n minus 3 plus a times b raised to the power n minus 2 plus a raised to the power 0 will be 1 and here b raised to the power n minus 1. Okay, if we have x raised to the power n minus 1 form then the factors will be this form. And if it will be in the form of a raised to the power n minus b raised to the power n, then it will be a minus b times a raised to the power n minus 1 plus a raised to the power n minus 2 times b 
plus up to so on b raised to the power n minus 1. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.